Hello guys, it's Mrs. Jimmy. I'm in Piccadilly Square now. Today is a very special day, because yesterday they announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, in Piccadilly Square, you can see behind me here the advert board, okay? You can see the photo of Her Majesty, the late Elizabeth, okay, there in black, when she's young and uh, when she, like, sat first of all on the throne and then when she died, okay? Elizabeth R, you can see the ER over there. Piccadilly is the busiest square probably in the world, Black Times Square, something like that. Uh, it's the focal center of London, all right? We are, we, from here you can access Buckingham Palace, Green Park and Buckingham Palace. You can go to Regent Street, all the way to Oxford Street and Oxford Circus. You can go to Lister Square, okay, or to Covent Garden, all right? So it's, uh, it's the focal center in London, all right? Um, it's, uh, today is a bit somber. Uh, people are quiet, uh, not very... Uh, uh, happy and cheerful as usual, obviously, because the country is in mourning. We lost our queen, and uh, the funeral will, uh, and the mourning, uh, it's going to take about, I don't know, a week or something like that. We're expecting a funeral, uh, Westminster Abbey, uh, lots of uh, leaders, world leaders, and kings and presidents, very important uh, dignitaries, uh, will be attending. Okay. Um, She's been great and she served the country well, okay? Uh, it helps me to say she was because uh, we knew any, we knew no other uh, monarch other than her, okay? For 70 years, which is much older than me, okay? Not really much, but older than me. So, um, rest in peace, uh, Queen uh, Elizabeth and uh, long live King Charles III. And uh, hopefully I will be uh, uh, touring or uh, moving around London, showing you different uh, sites, uh, different places, uh, historical places, cultural places, entertainment places, places for food and eating. Okay, it's uh, it's a very busy city normally. Okay, uh, London, but uh, for the next week or so, it will be a little bit quiet, maybe very quiet. All the flags are half mast at the moment, as a sign of uh, mourning. Today there will be uh, and the church bells, and then uh, uh, we also have uh, uh, tributes in the House of Parliament being said about Her Majesty the Queen uh, by all members of Parliament. We also expect a uh, expect a speech from King Charles the Third. He will be addressing the nation and uh, uh, like uh, trying to assure everyone that things will go as usual, as normal, not as good maybe as Her Majesty used to be, things used to be, but uh, King Charles III had enough training, okay, he's 70 plus now, so he's more than qualified and ready to uh, unify the country and lead us as a king. Okay, uh, we look forward to his speech and to listening to it on the uh, official TV and radio uh, BBC uh, within a very, very short time. Well, this is me, Mr. Jimmy, from Piccadilly Square, as you can see here behind me, saying hello and greeting you, and hopefully we'll be talking again at different times. Uh, here over there, I'll be moving over there, there to uh, here, some of my students probably remember Fortnum and Mason for food, the best food in the world, I keep talking to them about it in composition classes. I'll be also walking over there to Green Park and then to Buckingham Palace and I'll try to make a video from over there for all of you so you can see me and see the Buckingham Palace and the mast, uh, the flag on the half mast and, and so on around the, and the Victoria Memorial and the mall. Okay, I will show you all the, uh, the scene if I can get in because I heard there's lots of people over there. I might buy some flowers as well just to put outside the gates of Buckingham Palace. All right? Okay, yeah, uh, I'll speak to you in a while after I walk in that direction. Yeah. Bye for now.